Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1165. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have test scores and a final score. And the grading algorithm scores the total for the class if your final is greater than your smallest test score, then we'll take as a substitute the final score for your lowest score. Now we're going to create a formula over here because for this one we need to substitute 67 for 7, but for this one we don't. The, all of these scores are bigger than the final. Now the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to notice that the difference between these two is 60. So if I added all of these, I would just add 60. Here if I added all these, I need to add 0. So I'm going to try in this formula and calculate just a column first that has either the difference between the two or 0. All right, so the first thing is I want to say, hey, take the final minus, and the min will get the smallest of all of these right here, close parentheses. Those are all relative cell references. Control Enter and double click and send it down. So you could see here we need to add 60, here we need to add 67, 77 compared to 10. But all the ones where we need to add 0, it looks like we have minuses. So I'm going to see if I can convert this to a true and false anytime it sees a minus. And I'm simply going to take this expression and say, are you less than 0? Now the thing is, is the order of operations, comparative operators happen after math operators. So we do not need to put parentheses around this. Control Enter, double click and send it down. There's our patterns of trues and falses. True means add 0 because we don't want this. True here means we add 0 because we don't want this. This is smaller than any of these. So now I'm going to put this inside of an if. Equals if, and there's our logical test. It comes out true or false. Well, if it comes out true, comma, the value of true is going to be 0. Otherwise, I want this difference. Now I actually, well, let's see if this works. Close parentheses, Control Enter double click and send it down. Now it looks like it's working because now I can simply add this to the total. Now I was thinking about this a little bit and I, I there's a way we could avoid the if and use boolean and the formula might be slower but I kinda like this because notice if this comes out true it doesn't have to run any other functions it just plops a zero in the cell. Otherwise it runs this little calculation again. If you do a Boolean, at least the way I tried it, I'd have to run both of these. So I'm going to keep this right here, F2, and I'm going to simply take the sum of all of these, close parentheses, plus that 0 or the difference, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2. Looks like it's working fine. All right, a little fun with grading where we had to take and compare the smallest to the final score. And in our case, we took the difference if the final was bigger. Actually, let's, let's go prove that to ourselves. I'm going to click Escape. With the cell with the formula selected, go up to Formulas, Evaluate Formula, or you can use the keyboard Alt-MV. And we can click Evaluate or our Enter key. And I'm watching. There's the total. And then the if is running the test. It's going to get a false. So now it runs. And you can see right here it's running that second calculation. And sure enough, it gets 60. The if dumps a 60. And then it adds. Escape. Let's go here. Alt-MV. Enter. So it got the sum. And then watch this, the actual logical test, it comes out to be true. So the if simply avoids running that last little bit and just dumps a 0. Now actually, you know, in a smaller spreadsheet like this, it doesn't matter at all. The difference in calculating time is imperceptible. But you know, that's kind of what you know, building efficient formulas is about. All right, we'll see you next trick.